The fight's over, but there will be more. Will say well when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint though. There's a Harper sigil. Why were they here? At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt, a spider egg is nestled within. Spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. wrong press the wound no you're a true soul you can't die please stay with us i, I don't think he's conscious C can you hear us ed you not a step closer a strange symbol glows marked on their flesh and something within you stirs in response An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your limbs do not obey. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynna. New recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? What are you doing? Your sword, brother! Now! The Absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazer. 
Looks like the Absolute's drawing all sorts to play. Oh, impressive in a way. Got to focus. On my way. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. some suggestions the wizard wonder or how about the master of the weave tempting but i think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles Dead Albert prey, no doubt. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An Albert, its beaked face looming out of the darkness.
try me. be on my way. Step forward. Let me recite their demise. Outflank, outsmart. Moving. Need something? You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. 
Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... Weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. happening something stirs deep within you hungry and alert it's taking something you'll never get back his mind opens up revealing cracked and quivering memories at their heart you see dark eyes commanding you to feed you open your mouth and bite down not into a tender neck but into the twisting body of a rat the only thing your master lets you eat. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think... You could trust me just a little further. I only need a taste. I swear. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking and ready to kill. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Indeed it could. These are very helpful in a fight. Of course, I can't summon wolves or turn to mist like a true vampire. Being a spawn has its drawbacks. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, 
That explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. taught them to fight, not to hate. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly.
You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. The goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! Fresh meats, scared meats, yes! Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. <laughs> We should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Agakamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas, take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm.
you sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend? Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Have to keep going. These boots have seen everything. times. God, slow down. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. A 
Unless you bear the mark, of course. Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. A serenade to my ears and a boon to my belly. We've a bargain, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Game marks as faded as the memories of the children that played them. Wonder what became of them. rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Go away! Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight.
got one. Poisonous necrotic appendage. Just put this behind us. Far behind us. Wonder if the gods are watching me. A feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Yank the dagger free, leaving a narrow slit behind. on your mind apart from finding me an artifact to consume which i assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency that is most gratifying to hear may i Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Something's burning. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard? He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it. Push! Thank you. 
I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well, by the living gods, I couldn't have asked for a finer saviour. Scorched throat, a few hairs singed off, nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manic and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The drow have your father. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Isn't it clear? You travel with the Blade of Frontiers. Who might I trust if not a legend? Who might rise to the moment if not Ravenguard's own son? Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the Drow Trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So Father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Not just any Grand Duke. The most influential in the city, if my memory serves me right. And for once, I think it does. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know. And you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And I see Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory. 
a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. I'm all for it. Quite ready for you. When we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. So it is spoken. A dragon. Hell's above. Quite literally. I'm thinking. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to get to Baldur's Gate in one piece. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag! That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your, your last... Chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Stay clear of those gif. Even the Blade of Frontiers has his limits. Kithrak, we must speak. Your skull pounds in response to the Gith Yankee's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, and you hear her voice. You, stay put and keep your lips sealed. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh! Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Imbecile, stay back. Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Chuck! You dare speak to me like my better? Others have died for lesser insults. Slowly. But your bravery amuses me. Finally, I find a wolf in a world of lowing cattle. You may live for the moment. Now. We seek a weapon taken from a vessel that fell from the sky. Understand, Istik? You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it, and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. 
Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. face of death. Perhaps you may live after all. Better to let stronger blood thrive. It can give rise to worthier foes and hardier slaves. Don't disappoint me. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. 